Hello, Fox friends. I want to welcome all of you. See if you recognize your name. Hi to Annie and Ashton, Brian, Bryceland. Hello to Chloe and Chase. We hope Dominic and Dylan are joining us. Emma, hello to Forrest and Grayson. Hi to Hunter and Kara. Our two Masons, Mason A and Mason Ratter. Hi. Paisley, Presley, River, and Tris. So we hope you're all doing well. The book I want to read is the Bunny Book, and it talks about real facts. Think about the rabbits that you've seen in the wintertime or rabbits in your backyard. Some have long, long ears like this one. Can't even see his eyes. It's called a lop-eared rabbit. They all have a cotton tail. And that's how this book starts out, is it says the cottontail rabbit has a little white tail. Bunnies love to eat cabbage and go into the farmer's garden. Some rabbits have giant ears. Look at those, they take up the page and a half. Some have tiny ears. The snowshoe rabbit changes color and turns white in the winter and brown in the summer. And you've seen rabbits like this in your backyard, I would guess. Rabbits can run very fast. Angora rabbits have soft fur. And this is a lop-eared rabbit that has the long floppy ears. There are many different kinds of rabbit. This one's called Dutch. This one down here is Vienna, and this is a Flemish, and there's a chinchilla, and the most common one is the cottontail. Rabbits have large families. Look at all those bunnies. Rabbits like to get dressed up and go in storybooks. You probably saw a lot of rabbits last week for Easter. At Easter time, there are chocolate rabbits. So this is just a fun fact book. Next we'll do our zoo phonics. And I'll say the letter K, and that's Kato Kangaroo, and it's K, K, K. Now it's your turn. K says K, K, K. Good. L is Lizzie Lizard, and she puts her um, head on, her, on a branch and says L, L, L. Now it's your turn for Lizzie Lizard. La, la, la. L, M. Missy Mouse eats her cheese and she does like it. So she says, mmm, mmm, mmm. Now it's your turn for Missy Mouse. Good job. The next one is the letter N and that's the owl and it's N, N, N. Nigel Night Owl. Now your turn. N. No, no. The last one is the Ollie octopus. And you get your tentacles out and you say, ah, ah, ah. So those are our letters for this time around. Here's a pattern that we have. And you can make patterns with colors, but you can also do size. So say it with me, it's large, small, large, small, large, small. You can also say, Big, tiny, big, tiny, big, tiny. There's different words for those patterns. For our mystery box, it is overflowing. You can probably see the lid doesn't even want to come on. Oh, it's something in there that's white. So I'll give the clues. It is an animal, is the first clue. The second clue, it lives on a farm. It has four legs. The third clue, you saw it a lot around Easter. Do you have any idea what you think it might be? And this is the best clue. It's covered in wool and you shear the um, wool off this animal to make blankets and hats and things. So let's see what's in our mystery box and see if you guessed it. He's so big, he hardly fit. Oh, you can say a lamb or a sheep, but all of this is what they shear off and make some warm blankets. And on the front, it says, God's little lamb. 
So we hope you like the mystery box. The next thing I want to talk about is on the plans. We're going to be doing some puzzles. And when you go to your mailbox and you get ads like this, that are just these cardstock, you can ask mom and dad to cut them apart and make a puzzle out of them. Because sometimes you get tired of the puzzles you have at home, so you can make your own. Now I did go into the kitchen and I found this shape. Square is my name, all my sides are the same. But this week we're talking about the rectangle. And it has two long sides and two short. So I like to drink hot tea. This was in my cupboard and it has two long sides and two short sides. That's a rectangle. I also like coffee. And this coffee bag was another rectangle. Long side, long side, two short sides. And then I have to have my half and half cream. So if you have milk or cream, things like that are rectangle shaped. So it's long, two long sides and two short sides. Inside of your cupboard, you might have a big box of wheat thins. <laughs> and they are square shaped, the cracker, but the wheat thin box is two long sides and two short sides. And the last thing you might see is something you clean up with. Just a paper towel. Two long sides and two short sides. So look in your house, look in your kitchen. That's the best place to find those kind of things. And we need to wake up Mr. Koala Bear. So can you say hi, Counting Koala? He's going to help us with some uh, cards that we have. We're going to play a card game. If you have a deck of cards, you can get, let me get him up here. You can get him, get a deck of cards. You don't have to have all the cards, but when you count them, just touch and count. One, two, and this is three of hearts, so it's one, two, three. See if you can count this one with Koala and I. One, two, three, four. What comes after four? Five. One, two, three, four, five. There's a couple things you can do with this. You can put them in order. You can turn them face down and have your family pick them. And then you line them up in the right order from aces one all the way to nine. And you can have some fun with cards. Uh-oh, he's going upside down. Crazy. I have to stand on your head to see. So Koala Bear is going to help us do some more counting because there's something called a 10 frame. And maybe you've seen it before. It has 10, I'll show you the 10 first because it's on a different color card. It's a pink card. So the 10 has five and five and you'll see a pattern with the numbers as I turn the cards. So this first one, one, And you can count with me. I'll get it nice and close to you. One, two. You can count with me. One, two, three. What's one more than three? Four. Four blue dots. One, two, three, four. And then this will end the top row five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll look at these the next time with Mr. Counting Koala. I think he's tired and he has to go take a nap. Are you guys taking naps and getting lots of rest? We will be sending home, Miss Katie and I, a letter to your families. So be looking for a stamp in your name, in your family's name, and uh, we'll send you a note this week in the mail. See you next time. Bye, Fox friends.